what's up Alana here welcome back to my channel so today we are talking nails and I'm gonna be showing you guys how I get these DIY coffin nails it is fall I'm ready for some burgundy and cranberry and black nails and I'm so excited to share with you guys this tutorial today if you follow me on snapchat a couple of months ago I went on a big rant about how I am so done with acrylic nails from the salon last time I got them they literally ate my nails down to a nub and it took me months for my nails to grow back needless to say I'm never going back to the salon again because I found my own solution so if you guys are interested in seeing how I DIY'd my own coffin nails and stay tuned so starting off with clean nails of course for this project you are going to need your false nails your false tips now these are by the company kiss I will have them linked down below but they already came in the coffin shaped now I have two different nail files here the rectangular one is to buff out and create texture so the nail will stick and the long one is just to kind of shape and file down our false nails and of course you need your nail polish these are the two that I chose and of course I have this amazing gel top coat which is going to create that super shine so the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and spray my nails with some alcohol just to kind of dissolve any oil that I might have on the nails and before we go ahead and measure our nails out I'm just going to go ahead and buff my natural nails out and just file them down Buffing the nails really helps to create texture and this is what's going to help the false nail to stick a little bit longer and last a little bit longer. Now when I do this to my nails, they usually last me about a week, which is perfect for me. So once you file your nails all down and get them nice and buffed, you're going to go ahead and measure out the tips. Now there are lots of different sizes that come in this container and all of them will not fit your nail. If you see this one that I'm showing you guys now, it is way too big. So this would definitely be a no-no. So play around with the different nail sizes until you get one that fits you. This one actually fits me really well. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out and put it to the side. I'm going to grab two out um, just because obviously I have two hands and my hands are pretty much the same size. So whatever fits one is going to fit the other. Now I'm just showing you guys what a small nail looks like. You see how it is not covering the nail completely. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and try to use that nail on a different finger. And it doesn't fit on my index finger, but we are going to go ahead and move right along. This part is really, really important, you guys. You want to make sure that the nail does fit on your nail bed properly because you don't want to get like glue all over your skin. And you don't want your nails breaking and popping off prematurely because they are not fitting properly. So we're going to go ahead and finish pulling all of our different nail sizes. Alrighty, so now we're going to go ahead and start gluing our nails down. This one is the Kiss Maximum Speed Glue. I really like this glue. It definitely lasts a long time for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on my nail bed. And this is just a really thin layer. You don't want to use too much glue because you don't want it seeping out of the sides. But I will show you what to do just in case some glue does leak. So what I'm going to do now is just take that thumb nail and I'm going to go ahead and press it into my nail bed. I'm just going to hold it down for about 10 seconds just to make sure that it gets a really good bond. And I'm going to take a wet wipe or like a wet paper towel and just wipe off any extra glue before it dries around my nail bed so that way your like hands aren't sticky and sticking to everything. But yeah, this is pretty much how you do it. I'm just going to go ahead and glue down each nail, holding each nail down for about 10 seconds at a time. And with this part, you want to make sure that you get your nails on nice and straight because I've definitely glued my nails on crooked before. So don't do that. All 
So I went ahead and did the other hand off camera and this is what my nails look like. So now I'm gonna go ahead in and start shaping a little bit. Now because these nails are already coffin shaped, I don't really have to do much to them, but sometimes the nails will have like a little extra, I guess plastic on the end. So I just like to file that down a little bit. But if you wanna shape your nails a little bit more, feel free to do that at this point. Now it's time for painting. <laughs> I want to warn you guys that I'm horrible with painting. This is actually my favorite nail polish. It is like some fast dry polish, but it was actually really clumpy because um, I use it a lot. So I had to go and use this old polish. I don't know who it's by, guys. It's just a regular black nail polish. <laughs> And I'm gonna go ahead and start painting my nails. Now, I am a really not the best person when it comes to painting, but what I've realized with doing my own nails, the trick to painting your own nails is just really to honestly take your time. Don't put too much nail polish on the brush at one time, and don't start right at your cuticle. You always wanna start with a little bit of room left around your cuticle. You can always go in and fill that in later. And just take your time. You know, you don't have to use a lot of nail polish at one time you don't want nail polish running all over the place and yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish painting both of these hands I am gonna go ahead and do two coats and I'll come back and show you guys what that looks like when I'm done Okay, so this is what my nails look like after two coats. So now I'm gonna go ahead and with that gel top coat. I always love using a gel top coat ever since I was first introduced to gel. I think it's just amazing because it gives your nails that permanent wet look. And it also helps to really lock in the uh, nail polish so that way it doesn't chip as fast as it normally would so this one was about I think five dollars and I believe I got it from Walmart if I can find it I will link it down below so be sure to check the description box for any of the products that I'm using in this video and I'm only going to add one top coat to my nails because I don't want it to be too thick but I'm going to go ahead and do the other hand off camera as well now I let my nails dry for about 10 to 15 minutes and this is what the final product looks like you guys. You cannot tell me that I did not go to the salon and get these done honey. These nails are very sturdy. I get so many compliments on them and when I tell people that I did them myself they don't ever believe me. But you guys know. You know now. Okay. So happy nails. Happy fall. Go ahead and get your nails girl. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and until next time I love you guys so much. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.